What's up guys, welcome back to the Bianca Neri Zone 4 A hot take video, but I'm not gonna yell um, I'm gonna talk about the situation And particularly about the guy on the picture Which everybody know is Andrea Agnelli um, Wanna, you know, bring up some, some, some points, basically uh, That I think are relevant to the current situation of the club uh, but before we get into it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel as always. And yeah, let's get into the video. So, Andrea Agnelli, uh, I think everybody, I mean, everybody knows who he is. Um, I'm going to start off with the moment basically when we opened the stadium. Uh, I'm not going to discuss pre that you know because i think it's relevant but like i want to bring up some few stuffs and that's why i don't think it's relevant but the moment we opened the stadium um we came from dark spot you know uh consecutive seven place play seven place finishes uh some might think or some think it's gonna happen this season but like it was a very dark period for us we opened a new stadium not out of nowhere but like for a club in that situation we're still the biggest club in italy but like we were in a bad situation we opened a new stadium and i think at that time there was pressure you know because uh but a different type of pressure because we have we hadn't won anything for a while uh nobody was expecting us to win but everybody was expecting us to climb up again you know and to be that big club we were we once were again uh, I think that was, you know, the aim, the goal, whatever. Um, and he brings in Antonio Conte. Now, I know he had Pepe Marotta. I get it. But, and I'm going to give Marotta a lot of credit, but I'm going to talk about Agnelli. And, I mean, he, he employed Marotta and he gave the go-ahead for Conte, all those things, who was a nobody at the time. Uh, the only thing he had going like not a nobody but like it wasn't a top manager at that point um the only thing he had going which maybe is a problem today for us and maybe in the future is he was linked to the club now it turned out to be good but you know what i mean i think that's the, the discussion now oh, it's always an italian coach or a coach who had ties to the club ex-player whatever um and he was that he came in, I think everybody was like, okay, it's a fresh start. Let's see where it goes. And it went, you know, amazing. Well, let's be honest. Uh, it went beyond our expectations. Um, I'm not going to really bring up Europe because we were like three years in. It was a process. We had a good squad, a very good squad. We built an amazing squad at some point. And forget about Europe. Um, it was a good period with a lot of good decisions, like smart signings, and of course he had Beppe Marotta, but everything was going very smoothly, uh, out of completely nowhere, uh, but they worked amazingly. Like the work that had been done back then was spot on. And then Antonio Conte decides to leave, and that was a sticky moment, because everybody was like, what the hell is gonna happen now? And I remember when the club announced Allegri is gonna be the next manager, I remember that day on social media. It was wild. Every everybody saw those videos in front of the Vinovo, not the Continuasa back then, with you know the anti Allegri shouts, get out, and all those things, the banners, whatever. I struggle to remember if anyone really was happy when we brought in Allegri, me included. And that was mainly because Antonio Conte was doing so well for us and everything was going so well. It was a shock effect. It was like what the hell is going on out here, you know? Are we going to throw any everything away in a few months? Because there were also rumors that Tevez wanted to leave the moment Antonio Conte decided to leave. Um, I remember that period, and it was bad, you know? And Allegri comes in, and I think... <laughs> I don't think anyone was thinking, oh, we're going to finish 7th again, but everybody was like, okay, this was it. You know, three seasons, domination... We're going to drop off now. And we didn't drop off. Actually, we took a step, you know, ahead in Europe. 
we did very well. We got to the Champions League final. Uh, we lost against a, a crazy <laughs> Barcelona front three. Um, but we built an even better squad in that period under Allegri. Up to a certain point. Up to the Cardiff final. Which <sighs> still hurts that moment. It does. And not because... I'm sitting here say, how the hell did you lose that game? You know, you should beat Real Madrid easy. It's not easy. And everybody can tell that. Everybody thought they're gonna lose last season final. They won like like so many times. Their squad, they had a better squad. But the way it went down, you felt that this this is not good. Like this is the moment things start to fall apart. Rumors coming out, Bonucci, Dani Alvas, Dybala, the locker room issues, all those you know what, it was a mess, like, it was a mess, Bonucci going to Milan, all those things, he kind of kept it together, the moment we signed Ronaldo, I'm not blaming Ronaldo, by the way, but that's the moment when things change at the club, and of course, the, the pressure to perform in the Champions League was through the roof, we lost against Ajax and you felt this is the end for Allegri. Football was dire, everything was poor, and it's the end. And I think that was the end of a cycle. And we won it under Sarri. But even on the, the season with Sarri, you felt this, this is not going to last. For some reason, it's not clicking between the club and Sarri, between some of the players and Sarri. It wasn't amazing football, but you know we won the title. But you felt, oh boy, this is not good. You know, that we sold some random play like Cancelo, Danilo, all those deals. Um, the pandemic happened. All those things added, you know, and we created a bad squad. The Pjanic, Arthur swap deal, signing Ramsey, Rabio on big money. We were doing weird deals. Uh, we were more looking at balancing the books instead of you know, really improving the squad. Like, that's what it is. Um, then we went to Pirlo, which was a very sh shocking move. Like, I'm, I'm still confused. He won two titles. I'll give him that, but it wasn't good, you know, and you felt he's not going to last. Um, he shouldn't have got the job in the first place, in my opinion. Um, should, I, should he be given another season? Maybe, if you see what Allegri is doing, but like, he shouldn't have got it in the first place. Like, not if you want to dominate again and stuff like that. Like, he's still at his first job. Like, he, he didn't train at all. Like, he was hired to to basically um, train under 23s. And then out of nowhere, like a week or two later, he's announced as a as a first team coach. It was an Allegri choice, an Anieli choice, choice. And he had enough after one season. And he goes back to Allegri. Um... I've always said I'm, I'm not a fan of bringing ex-players or ex-coaches back, just in general. I said it with Pogba, I preferred other ones. Um, and Allegri is turning out to be probably the worst example out of all of them. Uh, it's not working out now. It isn't. Uh, it's been a year and three months, I'm going to say, two months, whatever. Um, and it's getting worse. This at the moment is worse than last season. And we thought that was impossible. But it's worse. It's actually horrendous uh, to watch. It's embarrassing. Uh, we're basically almost out of the Champions League. If we're being realistic. Uh, we're only four points off the top of the league. But the way we play. It can be 7-8 really quickly. And with quickly I mean within three match days. And then what? At this point, the feeling is, and if anyone believes differently, that's fair. Let me know in the comments why you believe differently from what I'm going to say now. At this moment in time, it feels like we are wasting time and we are throwing away our season. Because the season is still very early. It can be turned around. But the, the longer you wait, with every day passing, you're throwing it a little bit more away, in my opinion. When I think if you act now and you act correctly, you can turn it around. Uh, that's the feeling I'm getting. And I've said many times, like there are no leaks. 
Like there are no leaks in the media or from the management not being happy. At this moment in time, there are leaks. So something is up in terms of the club is not really it's not accepting this. Or like a, a section of the management is not expecting this. And that's even worse. Like they're not even aligned again. It was when we hired Sadi, it was when we hired Pirlo, it's it was when we sacked Allegri, it's it was when we brought in Allegri back. Like they're not agreeing on things. And that's clear to see also by the leaks. Like it's not shocking news. But that's also an issue. Like internal should I say power struggle, like disagreements, but like it's normal that you have disagreements, but not not like this on this level, in my opinion. When it's like one once I'm out and once one is completely no not even meh just no and we know who's gonna say no and that's Agnelli like he gave him a 40 deal at 9 million euros including bonuses if we need to sack him we need to pay a lot of money I get that but if we don't make it out of the group and let's say we don't even make top four you're gonna lose even more money that's the, that's the situation at the moment you know um and it's it's it, I'm gonna say is it is it is it a weird situation? Because I have the feeling we have been here for the last couple of years. Basically, it's only now that you know you're you're looking at that squad and you're like, it's not the best of squads we have ever had, but like it shouldn't look like that awful. Like we look terrible. We look out coached. We look like. We are in preseason, like 75% of that squad is struggling. The only players who are not struggling fitness wise in terms of like intensity during the games are the players we brought in who had some preseason with different clubs. In my opinion, that's the more games are passing. I'm, I'm looking at Kostic, I'm like, he's full of energy. I'm looking at Milik, I'm like, he can play Paredes, he's full of energy. I'm like, hmm, that's weird. They all had pre-seasons with different clubs. Maybe not Kostic to a certain extent. But still, like, they come from different clubs. They look like they can play 90 minutes while the, all the rest who were here look like they're dead on their feet. Not even after the first half. That's just, like, small things. The style of play, that's a big thing. But, like, all those small small things. Like, the, the, the fact that we go up a goal and then completely melt down is unbelievable like it's shocking it's i want to say frustrating but it's worse than frustrating like you cannot explain what what the hell is going on because it's happening every week and it's like it, it's not even improving it's not like we play for 20 minutes and next week we play for 40 minutes or and the following game like, we can dominate for a full hour or something like that <laughs> It's, it's 50 to 20 minutes and then it's done for the rest of the game. Done. We're done. We are done. Um, wrong decisions are being made. And I have the feeling, because that's the title of the show, at this moment in time, just based on stubbornness, Agnelli is basically kind of breaking down what he built up, in my opinion. Uh, and I'm saying this because he's stubborn. And you're getting the feeling that he's more interested in off the field things than what is actually happening on the club. And that can be, <coughs> excuse me, completely false. But that's a feeling I think a lot of people are getting. Like small things, not even small, it's a big thing. Like the stadium, it, it's that. Like let's be completely honest, it feels like we play away from home every single game and this is a big thing it is a big thing like players they need it i'm not gonna say we're gonna win all games based on the fans but you're gonna win more games in my opinion just because the stadium is rocking the stadium is not even sold out because the ticket prices are insane for a team that's struggling it's uh, it's crazy the stadium is that like, the stadium is actually that you know um all those small things combine you know make for a terrible recipe and that recipe is at full display at this moment in time it's two wins out of 
eight games a season, two wins out of the last 12 or something. Uh, we have three wins if you include Chivas in preseason. Like, that's not what it should be. And it's, and I'm including last season. I'm including last season because Allegri was a coach. And let me bring up Julian Sweet because he tweeted out some stats, which we discussed last season, you know, a, a lot of times, every time we face a decent club. But Julian brought up a stat saying, since returning to coach Juventus, Allegri has won 30 games out of 60. So 30 out of 60. Uh, he lost two finals, a total of three wins and 19 matches against quality oppositions. He's 0-4 against Inter. He's 2-3 against Roma. He's 1-2 against Chelsea. 0-2 against Milan. 0-2 against Atalanta. 0-2 against Napoli. 0-2 against Villarreal. 0-1 against PSG. And 0-1 against Benfica. That's... Um, I want to say that's bad. But that's horrendous. <laughs> and we, we talked about... Uh, last season many times that's why we're not getting top four like you cannot beat a top four team so how the hell are you gonna get into top four then we made it because the rest stunk out the place against smaller oppositions for some reason uh, we were very lucky I mean you got more points but like I still confuse how we did it but like you're not gonna compete if you cannot beat the teams around you and when around you I mean top four-ish um and that's a serious issue. And at this moment in time, it looks worse because last season we had a win against Chelsea. We were we were going to make it out of the group at this point. You knew we were going to make it out of the group, even though we were looking bad. Now, we have zero out of six. We're looking bad. I think nobody believes we're going to make it out of this group anymore. Like, surely the club cannot be sitting there and, and be like, this is going well. Europa League football, probably, that's what we plan for. And today you hear reports or yesterday saying the Monza game is decisive. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, really? A club of our magnitude, the club with a club with those ambitions are really sitting there and saying, if he can't beat Monza, then yeah, we need to sack him. Like what? So if he beats Monza, he can keep his job. Let me repeat that. He can keep his job if he beats Monza, apparently. Like, is that the standard? Is that where we're going at? Just beating Monza and then let's see. Game ahead, one game at a time. Awful mentality if that's the case. Those are the rumors. Horrendous mentality. Um, but yeah, I have a feeling he's breaking down what he built up. And he built up something great. But the last couple of seasons, like, he feels kind of disinterested on, on the field thing. What is happening with the squad on the field? rather than off the field things where we like i don't care if we bring out seven kids they all stink to be honest like the, the extra kids like i don't care i don't care about a limited edition kit the club cares because there are people who are gonna buy it you know but majority of the fans they don't they don't give it you know what they want to win they want to compete they want to look decent at least but yeah um before i wrap it up I will ask you guys a question and girls and let me know in the comments do you think like, like it's a two-parter do you think Agnelli is basically breaking down or like uh, ruining what he built up and the second question is do you believe give me a percentage and be honest do you does anyone believe Allegri will turn this around in a couple of weeks matches because he will get that time do you think he will turn it around i will turn it around i don't mean shithouse our way to a few wins i mean uh, uh, i cannot even say it but like come up with a playing style and dominate games like i know it sounds silly to actually do that out of nowhere in a few games time but th that's my question if the answer is no in my opinion then what the hell are we doing like what are we doing what are we doing here? What is the club doing, basically? Are they riding off another season, risking to lose a lot of money by missing out on Champions League football and, and next round Champions League football? But yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, as always, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you back tonight.
Tchau, guys.